All right, so what we have here today is our heat exchanger for the 320 class project. Uh, our purpose here is to take dry air, mix it with cool water, and put out slightly colder air and slightly warmer water. Uh, so if you come over here, you'll see a couple features what we have on this uh, assembly. Uh, this is our input water side, and this is the output water side, which we reject the waste water that has absorbed the heat from the air. Uh, you'll notice that we have these partitions in the wood. This is to cause the air to travel through the radiator as much as it can. We're forcing air to travel through this, increasing our surface area. Uh, and up here you'll see that we're bringing air right here and then we're shooting out the good air on this end. This is a setup of how we're gonna run our experiment to figure out the exiting airstream temperature. Uh, a couple things to note, you have a shot back. This is what's pulling the air through the system. So normally air would be pumped in from the top and then it would come out the exiting side but since we only have certain parts of this assembly, we have to pull air out, but that shouldn't change too much. Uh, what we know is we know the current air temperature and humidity of the room, so that tells us the entering air, and with the temperature of the entering water, and then we can measure the temperature of the exiting water, that will allow us to calculate the exiting air temperature. So with all that, uh, we'll have everything we need, and we'll have a video of that next. All right, so we're about to do the demonstration. It's gonna get a little noisy here. Uh, so we're gonna have most of our recorded values in the Excel spreadsheet. So this is just a demonstration on how we got the values we recorded. And we got our temperature gauge here, prepared to measure the exiting water. Here we go. Okay, so we just got done with the test. We're pretty happy with how that went. We felt that the methodology used to test the parameters uh, was pretty uh, realistic. Uh, since we had to fabricate and kind of uh, recreate certain conditions that this radiator would be under in order to test it. Uh, so a little bit about what we discovered. There was a 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit temperature change between the inlet and outlet water. Uh, so we have a couple theories, obviously there's imperfections in our build, but also we're thinking that the radiator here was used in a sports car, so the type of flow rate that this would normally see for air and some type of fluid would be increased dramatically in both cases. So things that could help our uh, measured data would be more consistent and a higher flow of water and air. And we think if we had both of those in the system that we had designed it for, we would see much more closer data to the calculated data.